hi guys good to have you all back i have lots of stuff on my desk today um let me explain i get a lot of comments from you guys about how do you come up with this stuff and do you sleep at night and so i want to show you how my brain works this morning i got up and i thought to myself i have a gazillion envelopes i really do i'm gonna speak about those a little bit later and i want to make sort of a junk journal only using envelopes just envelopes so my brain started working minimalism yeah just the envelopes and use make bits and bobs with the envelopes minimal supplies then i came to my craft room and i was thinking well but i do need a little bit of this i want to add i want to do some inking maybe i want to do some stamping i need a focal point what goes well with poster stamps i have this and i have that and and then and then this happened so it's everything but the kitchen sink this is not minimalism i i can do minimalism but apparently not on this project so this is the part where i tell you what supplies are we using well everything but the kitchen sink um you'll see when <laughs> when i take everything out okay guys so we're making an envelope out of an envelope a journal out of envelopes use mailers use your junk mail guys or just you know normal envelopes that you have lying around i'm going to use pretty vintage ones because i have lots of those let me show you and tell you all about them Envelopes. I summed you guys out because <laughs> otherwise you couldn't see the box. A couple of months ago even, I bought two very big boxes with envelopes, poster stamps, poster stamps albums from a collector. From a collector. Now, I did an unboxing of one of those boxes. I'm going to link that video below. It's a long one. It's a happy one. I, it makes me happy watching those videos. Now, this... This is just a small part of what was in the boxes. This box is sort of miscellaneous stuff that isn't really, really special. Uh, but interesting enough to do something with. <laughs> just these, just these. So that's what I'm doing. I am I'm going to take out um, a couple of these envelopes, different sizes, different shapes and such. And um, try to make... A journal with this yeah so if you're into envelopes this is absolutely your video and also the video that i'm linking below that has the unboxing of um one of these big boxes way bigger than this one it was a huge box it was a huge box i bought someone's sort of collection that he didn't want anymore okay guys um i'm going to pick out some lovely envelopes and then let's start making this lovely journal so I was going through the box to pick out some beautiful envelopes and every single one of them was amazing. So I was a little bit confused and then I found this bag. This bag is full of pieces of ephemera. Now I did sort of sort through these boxes guys, so I did organize them. A uh, beautiful piece in here and then I realized this morning I took down the wrong box from the attic. This is actually the box with the vintage envelopes that are really special. Now. Am I going to go upstairs again and take the right box? No! I'm going to use the good stuff today. So we're using the good stuff. These are all amazingly beautiful envelopes. Yeah? Um, I have made some piles with some different sizes and different sort of um, colors. I have colors in them. Smaller ones, some with windows, what have you. We need to start with one that will be the cover. Now, instead of filming 90 minutes of me going through all the envelopes, folding them, fitting them, pairing them together, I did that for you guys because I really want to finish, well, the base of this journal today. So I'm going to show you what I did, guys, and I need to do some alterations. I clipped everything in. Okay, this actually, this is going to be sort of the closure. It's going to be... I'm going to make this into closure. So this flips open. This is the only thing that I could not really attach. This is the rest of the cover, the real cover. It is too big. So I need to sort of trim it somewhere. Now this is going to be a flap over it. Yeah. When you open it up. Yes. There's going to be a flip up here. A pocket here. Then we start with the, with the real signature. I have this envelope. I have this one gonna make stuff that go in it i'm gonna decorate this big pocket here window envelope pocket there pocket here i'm going to put something on it what am i going to put on it yes i'm going to put this this lovely window yeah that's beautiful right i'm going to put it either here or on this one yes beautiful 
I'm going to attach this somewhere here. There's a sort of flappy blank space. Then we have this in the middle. Isn't that beautiful? It's for the Queen's birthday, her six years. Well, that's a couple of years ago. Yeah, 1986. Love that. Uh, so I need to do something here. Some decorating, some lovely, uh, on the, some lovely stuff on the inside. Then I'm going to make a sort of pocket here. And this is already a pocket. Yes, beautiful envelope. On the other side, I have this piece. I have no clue what it is. I'm going to do something with it. And this is actually, this is a big pocket and then a flip up with a window. Yeah. And then this on the side. Uh, then on the back, I have, well, the pink envelope folding over. That's going to be another pocket. This is going to be loose, guys. And then another flip up. Look at this with all the beautiful. Yes. Yes, I saved that one. So that's sort of the, the papers that I am using now. I'm going to take out the signature first, this one, yes, and I'm going to alter, because this is too wide, the um, cover, yeah. I need to find the widest page of my signature, I'm gonna fold this in, yes, which is this one, so it leaves with a lot of room. I am not going to uh, put it close to the edge, I'm just going to mark put a mark here right i'm just gonna flip it over so that's the foot yes well this this one is a little bit bigger wider than the front page okay so this is the signature so i actually want to fold this in i'm going to fold this on this row of beautiful poster stamps i have no clue what this piece was because the the address on the front is modern but these are actually old seven and a half cents that's been ages since that's been a currency let's see so i'm gonna fold this yes i think i'm gonna snip this off because this is way too bulky take snippy out there you go yes that looks way better. I'm going to have it like so. Yeah. And this folds over. That is also too big. Now this post stamp is letting loose. There you go, love. Come on, I'm going to put you somewhere else. Yeah. Will it close up now? Yes. Will this fit in? Yes. So this is the size that I'm using. Oh, are you going to take this out? Yeah. Will it sort of come off? Not really. But that's okay because I have a couple of these. Yeah, so I'm just going to glue them down to sort of reinforce it. Yeah, and this is going to be a pocket. Like so. Yes, like so. Good morning, Art. So these are not going to be side tucks. Because believe me, I have already have enough pockets. Because basically every single envelope in here is a pocket, of course. I do love this here on the side, yeah. And then we have this one. Lovely color purple on the inside. Yeah. Okay. And now automatically we have pockets here. Great. Now this is going to go on the inside. I need to sew it in. But, but... I need to reinforce this. I already know I need to reinforce it. So I've taken out this tape. This is by Mr. Tim Holt. It's sort of ledger and it's uh, fabric tape. Yeah, this is actually fabric. I believe so. Yeah. So I'm going to put the fabric tape over it to sort of strengthen it, reinforce it. Never use this. About yay much. There we go. 
Did I make it too short? A little bit, but that's okay. It doesn't need to go all the way to the end. I'll probably have some trouble um, with the needle. Oh, it's almost the exact size. Because this tape, as you can tell, is very, very sticky. Do we also want to have some on the inside? Do we? I have some other tape. Uh, I have some with this. Or oh, the tickets. How much of this will we see? Not a lot, but I'm going to put it on anyway. Just going to reinforce it on both sides. Sticky. Sticky, sticky, sticky stuff. Well, it's already pretty. Oh, I do love the color of the, of the pink on this ledger with the... With the purple, it's too big. Need to cut it off. Or flip it over. Or flip it over. There you go. Or flip it over. Yes. No cutting. No. Yes. So, reinforced it. Yeah. Now, before I sew in the signature, I think I want to um, add the flap. This one. This one is going to be glued on here, and then we'll be over it, like so. I think I want to make a hole here, put, put in an eyelet or a hole reinforcer, and then some sort of twine, probably this one, as a real closure. Great plan, great plan, let's do this. I'm going for a grayish, so a big eyelet. These are uh, these are from We Are Memory Keepers. They're really, really cute. And also, they're like butter. They just, you know, you don't even have to press hard. Now, I was thinking about inking. Of course you are. Um, but I think after I assembled it, I still have enough sort of room to ink. Just not on the inside. Is that necessary? No, no, it's not necessary. Okay, this will make this pocket a little bit shorter. <laughs> That's quite all right, lovies. That's quite all right. I'm eyeballing the middle. I'm not even going to try. Not even going to try. Is that uh, is this a bigger set? Um, probably bigger setting. I don't know. Or a smaller one. No bigger. Make up your mind. And there we go. Look at the birds. It's so cool, right? Uh, summer poster stamps. From when was this? 84. Remember 84? I remember 84. Yeah. Can we go back? Can we all go back to 84? So these are first day of issue sort of stamps. A lot of them in, the, in this box. Now I did not press hard enough. I was like, you don't have to press too hard. Well, you need to press a little bit, love. And then I pressed too much, but that's okay. Yeah, a lot of the the envelopes were first day issue, whatevers. Yeah, that's cool. So, I am not going to make this into another talk spot. I'm just going to glue it down, guys. Now, I might be using very special envelopes. If you're a collector, you may be, why? What are you doing? But to me, they're all pretty and I just want to use them. Not all the way to the edge. Just leave a little bit, the tiniest bit. There we go. Yeah. So this is going to be sort of the closure. Sort of the closure. Now let's do the flip up and flip out envelope thingies. I want this to be in the front as a flip up. But it has a very sort of small entrance now. I don't even know what this is all about. Um... Or you could also do this. I don't know. I don't, don't really know what this is. Ooh. Interesting. So I actually want to make a bigger opening. 
will that will this fit this will not fit will this fit well it will fit this way but not the other way no doesn't fit love doesn't fit what else can we do um i want to have it bigger i want to have, make sort of an opening can we perhaps put something in between and then cut it let's do this couldn't find anything but i have a new a new idea this is loose it's actually loose so what i'm gonna do is this Ta-da! that is actually really really cool don't you think so yes so we made an opening here I, I am going to glue it down just to have it stick oh yeah oh i like this interesting gonna decorate it later guys let's see um are we going to have this flip over i actually don't really like this but i could also just glue it down yeah i'm not gonna have this on the outside i'm gonna have it on the inside who says you have to have have to have it on the outside you can have it on the inside you can do whatever you want lobbies There you go. This is from 1976. First day of issue. USA. 22 cents. Well, it's a vintage one. It's a cool one. And I love it. Okay. Then we have this one. Oh, isn't that beautiful? It's from Belgium. I cannot see a date. Uh, seven. Don't. I don't know. It's gorgeous. I shouldn't use it, right? Yeah, well, I'm gonna. I am going to... Am I going to have this flip over? Yes, there's something, some writing on here. So I'm just going to have it flip over. Now I bought this. I have I bought two big boxes from two separate gentlemen. Uh, they were probably like collectors. And um, these are the, the sort of envelopes they weren't really interested in. Because they, they cost me nearly nothing. Well, they cost me some money, but... Um, not a whole lot. Not a whole lot. Now this is going to go um, uh, the other way around, guys. With sewing in the signature. I'm going to attach this with sewing. Yeah. It's going to go over here. 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 Oh, Do we already love it? We already love it. Okay. I'm going to sew in the signature. Now, guys, you've seen me do this a gazillion times. If not, go to one of my beginner uh, videos and you'll see. So I'm going to do a pamphlet, three stitch, whatever it's called. I'm going to do this. But, oh, no, before I do this, uh, I need to remind me. This is a flap. It needs to be opened. It needs to be opened. So, because if I sew it in, I cannot open it anymore. Snipping off an angle. Yes. So now it can be opened. The other ones were all on the inside, I believe. Yeah. Opening here, here, here. I put the big flap on the inside. And this was opened on the top. Yeah. Phew. Crisis averted. Okay. Gonna sew it in. Well, that took me a while because I decided to also put some of the fabric washi over here. Now I had to go with my needle through two, three layers of the fabric washi. Yeah, well, yeah, well, that's not easy, I can tell you. But I, but it worked. Yes, everything is in, guys. Everything is in. And it's already sort of really, really cool. Really cool. Now, for the closure, I put this in, of course. Now, I I'm, I have decided on blue. This is going to be very eclectic. I think I'm going to have lots of colors um, on here and in here. I'm taking out a piece of Baker's Twine. Um, doubling it up for about 10 inches. Let's say 10 inches. And then I'm going to put both of these layers through. Hoping this works. I don't know how much I want to cut off. I have You have enough love. I even have two of these rolls. Just cut a piece off trying to be stingy <laughs> okay well it worked it worked then i'm gonna wrap it around twice and then 
yeah okay so we have our closure where's the other part yeah. tada we could be done you could be done is it cool i think it looks really cool now let add, let's add some more pockets uh, stuff and thingies and see what we can decorate because i have so much stuff that i want to use let's start at the beginning um we did this one yes now this is the lovely envelope that had um a watermark inside with an aeroplane you can sort of see it but not really well so I'm thinking it's actually on this side, on the other side. I should have thought about this before I put everything in, but that's okay. I'm thinking about cutting it open here and here so that it will be more visible. So I'm hoping, hoping that'll work. I'm first going to cut it open with my craft knife over here. It's very thin paper, so it should sort of work well. yeah and then i need to carefully cut it here and that's not going to be going to be easy i need something underneath can we perhaps put this underneath oh, we can we can i'm going to cut a little bit removed from this edge lovies otherwise it will rip out, of course. Oops, careful. And also do not cut in your fingers. Did it work? It did. It did. Yeah. Let's cut a little bit more over here. Tiny bit. And then... No, don't even cut it there, because I think what I want to do... See the airplane? Yeah, it's actually sort of make a pocket thingy. Can we flip this over to the front? Oh, we can. Yes. Trick. See what we did? Oh, I think that's really cool. Did it sort of work? I think so. I think so, yeah. So we're going to have pockets here and pocket here. We need to fold this over to make it a little bit sturdier. Yeah, yes. Okay. I should have thought about this before I sewn this signature in. That's why I love uh, elastic bindings, guys, because you know you can take it out and do the thing that you thought about, or thought of. Yeah. And now you'll have to make do. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to put glue here. This is going to be glued down. There you go. I'm going to put glue here. Yes. And then I'll put glue here. Now we have lovely little pocket here, lovely little pocket here, and sort of a view of the airplane. Can you can you see it, guys? Just love that one. Yeah. Well, we did something. Now this one, I don't know. Just I'm gonna leave it as is. I have this beautiful airmail sort of envelope. Look at this. I love that, and I also really love the inside. I was thinking about doing a wraparound um pocket yeah but i want i want this paper <laughs> i want this paper and also i really love this blue so what i'm doing actually is cutting this open yes on both sides oh that's lovely you're not gonna see it you're not gonna see it Yeah, 
So this is going to be the pocket. I'm going to cut this off. And I'm going to use this elsewhere um, in the journal. Yep. Just fold this in. And then glue it. Yep. I'm going to glue, glue here and here. And here and here. Right? Uh, there's oh, there's another pocket here, love. So here, <laughs> not there. Okay. Oopsie. There we go. Never seen this inside of an envelope. Really like it. It's probably there for a reason, so that you're not able to read what is inside. Well, that could be a thing. Don't glue it all the way to the top, love. Just have it sort of over there. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. The exact spot. <laughs> I didn't even measure it. Yeah? All right, so so we made another pocket because we needed another pocket. I'm gonna put some lovely stuff in, of course. And then a pocket here. And there's a, a big pocket behind because that's the envelope. That's the actual envelope. Cool. Yes, like it. Then for the next one, I'm gonna decorate this. Don't know with what yet. Now, this one is badly damaged. That's actually okay. But I was thinking to maybe uh, cut this open. To make it into a slanted pocket. So, I'm going to cut it onto where I marked it. Here. Yes. Ooh. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, that's the other side. an eraser this was not on the front of the envelope this is actually on the back of the envelope can we fold it in or just fold it down or just cut it off i'm just gonna cut it off it's a little bit lower with your scissors trying to cut straight wow being adventurous today. Oops. There we go. So we have another pocket here. Yeah. All right, the next one. Uh, what did I want to do here? Yeah, I clipped this on. Now this I am just going to glue down. I'm just going to glue down. I'm not going to do anything special to it. And then I want to put this one on here. Uh, this way. This side. Yeah. Glue it on uh, three sides. Making a notch here. Because it's actually sort of a sleeve thingy. So that you can have a pocket here and a pocket there. Yeah. Okay. First, first gluing this part down. There we go. Oops. Could have licked it. I'm not licking it. No. And then make a notch here. Um, eyeballing the middle. There we go. Yeah. And then we need. Uh, we don't need glue here. So I'm going to hold it here. Probably not really uh, old, but it was it was in the box with the stuff, and I nearly kept everything that were in these boxes. Well, not all of it. There were a couple of things in there. I was like, okay, okay, let's take this to the paper bin. Don't glue on your paper clip. 
Ja. Oké. Okay. Pak het hier, pak het daar. Tada. Really like it. What did we have here? Oh ja, yeah, that was also in there. For Jason Steele in Jamaica. Uh, International Correspondence School. I thought it was very interesting. I'm going to probably hinge it. I am going to cover up the beautiful post stamp here, but you know, it is what it is. Let's take out a piece of washi. This is all about airmail. This is from Tim Holtz. So very appropriate. I need to watch my time, guys. I have lots more ideas for this. Tell me in the comments below, please, if you want um, me to do sort of a mini series on this. Mini series? Why? Why? <laughs> because there's a glue on here. A mini series, sort of doing more decorating, not like uh, Gretchen or Gunter, but oh, well, sort of like it. Yeah. Oops. And then we're just gonna try to try to have it straight. That'll be lovely. Will it fit? Yes, it will. I'm just hinging it only on the inside because I really don't want to cover this up. Probably gonna make a tap. Yes, making a tap. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. Oh, I have an idea for this. It's going to be a cool one. Now, on this envelope, on the outside, I slanted it, guys, because it needs to open up. The, beautiful, the inside is absolutely gorgeous. So, on both sides, I draw some circles because I needed to remind myself of the idea that I have. I want to put circle here, circle here with a brad and then do the string closure string closure thing um lots of blue here so i'm using this yes i'm already using this will this i'm gonna sort of try can i i just gonna do this how big is this i'm using a half inch circle punch oh yes that will fit but very flimsy paper so i dove into my trash took out a piece of um packaging actually Cut a bit off. Let's go to the side, lovies. There you go. I'm just gonna glue this on. See, we're reusing everything. There we go. I need four. I think I can manage to take out four because I need two on the one side of the envelope and two on the other side. One, two, three, four. I can do lots more if I want to. Yeah? Okay. I need to sharpen my punches. How do I sharpen my punches? Um, aluminum foil or aluminium foil, whatever you want to call it. Just fold it in a couple of times and then just punch stuff. It will sharpen it, apparently. Um, I did try it. I don't think it works very well. It, it works for a bit, but not very, very well. Okay, so I'm going to have one circle on here. One circle on here. And then gonna do the winding underneath, yeah? Do we want to ink it? You're not inking anything, so no, I'm not inking it. I need a pokey tool to poke some holes. I'm going to go through two of them at the same time. There you go, piece of underflooring. Is this the middle? Well, it sort of is now. Oh, well done, me. Well done, me. I was going to do the other ones. Yeah, well, 
Well, that is the center. Now, I need a bread. This is going to be fiddly because, you know, I already put everything down. Think about these things, love, before you put it down. I know. But I didn't. I want this to go on here. I'm just going to take my pencil and sort of mark it. Yeah, the other one a bit below. Not too much because I also have to sort of reach it. The other one's going to go here. Yes, oh, that wasn't a big mark. Okay, very carefully putting a hole here. Can I reach it? Yes, you can. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I need breads. Now, I have my box of mini breads. I am either going to use this lovely blue one, but I don't think it is big enough. Will this sort of hold? This lovely blue one, or this one. Help me out, guys. Oh, no, this one for sure. Thanks for your help. Figured it out. Oh, I need four. I also want to do the other side. Now, it's very important to not have this sort of really tight and flush um, against here because we need to wind a piece of string all around it. So I'm going to leave a little bit of room. Yeah. A little bit of wiggle room. Can you see? Hoping you can see. I'm just leaving the tiniest bit. Yes, see, there's a little bit of room here now. Doing that on this piece will be very, very difficult because I cannot see anything. I'm going to do it merely by touch. I'm going to feel where it is and then hopefully I'm able to open the legs. Yes. Yeah. Um, I need to put um, a piece of tape on the inside. So if we if we are going to, well, I'm going to put some tape here as well because otherwise I might hurt myself because these are sharp. If we're going to put something in, like a beautiful card or what have you, uh, it will not get get caught on the legs. Very tricky, very difficult. Guys, I'm just going to do this one on camera and the other one I'm going to do off camera because you've seen me struggle now. The struggle is real. There you go. Yeah? Um, this is too heavy to pick, but I do want something blue. So I have this hemp cord, which is the exact color. Don't do the trick with measuring first. Just take off a bit, love. There you go. There you go. I'm going to put it here make a knot that's why i left a little bit of room right and then you do this and it is absolutely amazeballs i love it isn't that cool it's a little bit too long yeah i'm gonna snip a bit off there you go that is the coolest i'm gonna do that one on the other side as well see also worked on the other side this is actually the the middle of the signature i love this one isn't that pretty yeah it's really cool cool so i did this here and this here i'm going to do more decorating but it's already really lovely uh i need to make a beautiful card put it inside but that's not what i'm doing today today i'm just want to flip through the pages and add pockets and flips and such this is going to be a pocket on the other side this is an envelope i try to open it up it doesn't work so i'm going to keep it as is yeah so i want to make this into a pocket um but open it up here i'm going to open it up here and then make sort of a notch so it will be a double pocket yeah so that's that's the idea there you go. Taking the tiniest bit off. Yeah. Now it's open. There was nothing inside. Oh, it was open on the other side. <laughs> really, really love, really. Yeah, well, it was open on the other side. 
that's okay. That's why we have glue. Oh no, that's why we're going to trim it there because it was the tiniest bit too long. Just the tiniest bit. I was trying to open it here. Yeah, smart. Very smart. <laughs> well, good thing because it was a bit too long. I needed to trim it and now I can trim it without opening it up because it was already opened up. Is this crooked? Wow, well, really crooked even. What are you doing, Lovie? Really, really crooked. Ooh, hello. Well, now we have this piece. Gonna, gonna save it, save it, see what we can do with it. Um, need to close it up. Not Bart. Bart is not having a great time at the moment. Probably the weather. So I'm using art for this. Yes. Okay. And I want to make a notch here. Why did you glue it down? You're making a notch there. You could have, you know, left it open. That's okay. I can reach. Okay, well. This punch really needs a little bit of sharpening. Because that is not what we want. Oh, wow. Probably gonna ink it. <laughs> yes, this one needs sharpening for sure. For sure. Um, where did we want to put this? We want to put it here. Right? Yes. From Belgium. Try to open it. Now I'm closing it up again. There you go. Oh, that, this is my thing, guys. It hap this happens to me all the time. A I can tell you different uh, uh, instances where I just tried to find an opening or was concentrating on the wrong, wrong side of the object. Whatever it was. Whatever it was. Story of my life. No. I need to make lots of lovely cards and, and stuff in here. Um, I really want to do this, guys. So let, let me know. I put on deco here, which means I'm going to decorate this probably with stamping and such. Already lovely, already lovely. What I did, guys, this is the other side of the blue envelope that we made the slanted pocket. This one. Yeah. Um, this one I cut. Regret it. Uh, this one I just folded in. So, on this one, let's just do that immediately. Where did I leave out the washi tape? The Mr. Tim Holtz washi tape with the airmail. Yes, I'm going to put um, tape over it. Oh, that looks amazing. There you go. Now, hopefully I can reach in because I'm going to fold it over for the tiniest bit. Sort of trying to straighten out this line and have it a little bit more decorated. Um, did that do the trick? Oh, sort of, sort of. Not perfect, but it looks way better than it did, right? Yeah. And and decorated. Okay. Where were we? Da -da 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 -da, la -da -da. With this one, I'm going to do some decorating. Now I have this lovely uh, envelope from 1996 with unusual um, poster stamps on them. The poster stamps were from a city. This is City Post, so we probably paid a lot less. Uh, and I, what I want to do is just use this bit. So I'm just going to cut this off. I'm just going to cut it off. 
have a bit of room. There's so much on my desk. <laughs> now, hopefully, I can sort of cut it straight. Yes, because I'm going to line it up here. Yeah, oh, it has a lovely green on the inside as well. Uh, what are we doing? Gluing this down. So I'm basically going to use the rest of the envelope. I'm going to cut this open. Yeah, I'm going to use this somewhere else in this project. Um, yes, I'm going to go here, here and here. Do we want to make a notch here? Well, I do not dare anymore. Because my notch makers are dull. The green envelope. I don't need the green envelope. Yeah. So I'm going to have this on here in the corner. Um... gluing here and here yeah now I did not do any inking and any grunging up uh, because these are already vintage um, I might regret this <laughs> I might regret this because now I cannot ink anywhere yeah so we have um, pocket 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 and pocket oh was this open on the top yes <laughs> i was scared i was like it was open on the top right yes it was yes it was great uh was this the last this is the one well second to last project um this i'm going to have on the inside this is going to be a flip up yeah i'm going to put something lovely in probably put a tab on um, and I'm going to decorate this, but I want to decorate it before I glue it in. So I'm just going to keep it on here for now and put some decorating here, of course. Now we have this small flap. I was, I was thinking about just attaching the flap here. But why not utilize it as sort of a hinge? I found a couple of these cards. These are from um, Jerusalem, I think, or Tel Aviv, Tel Aviv, Israel. Uh, and they're from 1957 something postcards I don't know love this look at this love this absolutely love this so what I'm going to do you can rip it I'm not going to rip it on the sides I am however going to um, leave it with the edges attached and cut it on this line well actually a little bit above because I really love the dotted line There we go. Really like this one. And then I'm going to glue it either like so or like so. Probably, probably like so. Why? This is very plain. This is lovely and purple and sort of spotted and with all sorts of loveliness. Yeah. So I'm going to glue it like so. Do you want to make it into a tuck? No. No, no. No, we have enough tuck stuff. What's underneath here that's in the way? Go away. I'm just going to glue it down. Now, because this is the last page, I'm not going to do it all the way to, the, to this edge. Let's see. It needs to be a little bit more to the top. It's going to sort of fold here. That is a problem. This is a problem, guys. I did not take that into consideration. This is going to be a problem. How are we going to solve the problem? Tape. There's a lot of tension on this page because it's the last one. Did I put enough glue? There, well, there is a lot of glue there. I'm going to put on a piece of tape. Not a big piece of tape because I really don't want to cover this up. Found this one. Again, with airmail. It was a Tim Holtz set I bought somewhere at a fair or something. Oh, Creadu. I bought it at Creadu. Uh, last year? I believe so. So I'm trying to put it as close to the edge as possible now. I'm 
Did it work? Can we flip this over? We can. Bit of a wrinkle here, but I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. Not going to do anything to this lovely and needs more decorating, lots more decorating. But I think for today, that's it. I'm going to show you the sort of half end result. <laughs> Let's see how far we've gotten today. Do you remember this morning I had like this much of stuff on my desk that I wanted to use and I hardly used anything of it. I used a washi tape and a brad and an eyelet. That's it. That's it. So it is sort of a minimalist project, but I'm not finished. I'm not finished. Now, guys, you must let me know. Yeah. Um, shall I finish it or not? I might do a poll. I might do a poll. I don't know really how those work. Yes, you did before with Gunter. Yes. So I'm going to do a poll because I want to fill it up. I want to do lots more decorating and such. But for now, let's look at the sort of end result. Sort of end result. The closure. It's a really cute one. It's a really cute one. Uh, love this. Love this flap. Yeah. With the birds on here. Uh, first day issue from 1984. So everything. Everything in here is either really old or old. Yeah. Okay. I want to do some decorating here. Now when we open it up. We have another floor to flap. With. Oh hopefully this was open. Was it? No. It wasn't. <laughs> Was it? No, it was open on the on the other side. I'm gonna gonna show you guys. Yes, there was an opening on the other side. So we have flappy here. I want to do some decorating here, some lovely decorating. I want to put like an identity card on here or something like it. Yeah. We open her up. Then we have this beautiful envelope from 1976. We made a flap thing here. I want to make a lovely uh, card in here and also do some more decorating decorating here another lovely card then we have this one that we made a double sort of pocket so it needs it needs a something with the airplane on it yeah beautiful envelope from 83 83 it's a very sort of hefty envelope it's really sturdy so i want to do a something here maybe even flip open has a big pocket so it needs something in the pocket we made pocket here so it needs a little something here yeah, and some stamping in the background as well, I guess. And this is acetate. I wanna, ah. Ideas, ideas. I have ideas, guys. Uh, double pocket, pocket here, pocket here. Lots of space here to decorate. Uh, even though it's a lovely poster stamps, I don't, I don't like the poster stamps from this era. Um, so I will most likely cover Beatrix up. Yeah, but I love the green. So I'm going to have something here in the pocket. A little bit of decorating. We made a pocket here. Decorating. Already very beautiful. Very beautiful. Then we made double pocket here. Yes, it's open on the other side. It was sort of open on the other side because it was a sleeve. But that's okay, lovies. It'll be fine. Nothing is going to fall out. So pocket here and here. Yes, flip out. Decorating. Don't really like this. So it needs a something. Needs a something. Brilliant idea, right? Yeah. So we open her up like so and then put a lovely card in and do some more decorating for sure no not gonna touch this i might do a little bit here with same colors don't know don't know another one of these pockets i need to do some decorating this is from 97 i i believe 97 can't really make it out. Uh, I don't really like this. It's way too modern for me. So I'm going to cover this off. Co cover this up. And put a lovely big card uh, on the top. And when we need a card here. We need a card here. It says deco. So I'm going to do lots of deco and a card. A tab. Let's add a tab. I'm going to add a tab. It's a lovely space to add a tab. That's, where's my pencil? Yeah. Tab. I will forget. I will forget guys. Fantastic. Maybe something. Maybe. Don't know. Uh, pocket. Decorating. Pocket. Pocket. Decorating. Some decorating. I'm going to leave this. Yeah. This I needed to decorate and then glue it in and do some more decorating over here. This needs a lovely sort of card with a tab. Yeah. And also tab. 
I'm gonna put the tap here so that you can flip it up. Yeah, needs decorating. Deco, I'm gonna put it on deco. Deco, and I'm gonna do some decorating here as well. So I'm gonna do some deco here. Yes, well, this is self explanatory. I'm gonna decorate here. Um, is, I don't know, don't know, don't know. Decorating, lovely card. That's it. And then on the back, on the back, we have this flip up. Um, I, I did not make a notch here. No, I didn't. That's not smart. We're going to figure it out. See, the, the opening was on the side on this um, envelope. So this is going to be the pocket. And then over here, I might add another flip thingy. I don't know. Ideas, guys. Ideas. Ideas. But that's it for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed myself a lot. I didn't think I was going to use the beautiful envelope today. But I did. I did. So I'll be back again tomorrow. I don't think I'm going to do the, the sort of um, sequel to this. Is it called a sequel? Yeah. Um, probably on Monday. I'll give you the weekend to think about it, guys. So I'm either going to finish this Monday. Or I'm going to finish it for myself. Let me know. Be back again tomorrow. I'm hoping to see you then. Bye, guys.